select new metric standard go over to 2D sketch XY plane select polygon 6 sides make sure the center is green and select vertical constraint dimension to the side and make sure it's 19 finish the sketch and extrude the thickness will be 7.5 Select on one side of the face to this sketch and draw a circle of 19 diameter. Finish the sketch and extrude. Make sure the angle is 45 and boolean is intersect. Select OK and repeat the process for the other side. If you notice, it's similar to the step of the bow. Once you've done both sides, select on one side to draw another circle. This time it will be for the hole. Make sure the circle is 10 mm in diameter and extrude to cut. Now you will settle which is the front of the board. For me, I want the, the flat side to be the top. So I'm selecting it such that the, the hexagon faces are the fronts. Now we'll be going over to chamfering the opening. The distance will be 1mm for both sides. Now we'll be drawing the thread face. So first we'll be selecting the cross-sectional plane. Pan over to the middle and draw a generic triangle first. The dimensions do not matter. Once you've done so, connect the point to the center. Make sure that the dots are green and select horizontal constraint on the edge of the line. Go over to dimension and select the edge of, of the corner of the triangle towards the surface of the now, the dimension will be 1 and that will be for the distance between the triangle and the nut for height. Draw a center line across the nut and repeat the process for the width. This time it will be a distance of 5 millimeters. Now for the angle of the triangle, do so for a degree of 60 and enter. The height of the triangle will be 1.75 Move on with fill up of 0.25 for the edge of the triangle For the center line, right click on it and select construction This will be a reference point for later part Delete the center line and finish your sketch Select coil Make sure the pitch and height are as such. The information will be accurate. The axis, select the cross sectional uh, plane and handle. This will give you the threading inside of the nut. Once you're done, you can select the material. For this, it will be steel galvanized with a finishing of chrome polish. Once you're done, you can save this file as NUT.